Shall we begin? Shall we chat about what we're going to do today? Have I have I caught up with chat? Have I missed anything important that anyone said? If I have, then feel free to repeat yourself. I don't mind, guys, if you if you say the same thing in chat if I missed it. Sometimes, sometimes I miss it. Sometimes because we're human beings. Hi, I agree on Google Drive Point. All my stuff is on there. Cool. So I, I'm going to look at a way of backing up for sure, especially after the windows crashed today. It's made me think, yeah, got to do that. Don't want to lose anything to do with Raindrop Chronicles. I think I did like back up at one point, but it was ages ago, so I need to do another one. And I think I used, to be honest, I think I just used a flash drive for it, but I'd rather do it online. How was your weekend? What did I do the weekend? Oh, I was doing like lots of Raindrop Chronicles stuff. Um, not gonna lie, I, I just was doing so much. And it doesn't seem like I've done a lot, but I have because you have this list when you do a game project of all the little things you need to do. And it gets longer and longer over time. And I did like get through about half of those, so I'm pretty happy. We're going to go through a test play today, and I'll show you guys what we've done. And I'll talk you through all the stuff I've uh, managed to fix, any bugs that have been uh, hanging around for a while. There was a couple of things I solved. Um, and I'll also talk about what I've still got to do. But today, if you, I mean, I did promise a skill stream this week. I said that we'd focus completely on skills this week, but that's a lie. Because today we're going to be doing, we're going to making, we're going to be making a decision today, um, and it's related to what's in the title. So I'll we'll talk about that in a sec. And I want to get the poll up quite early because it gives more time for people to vote. If we can get the poll up in the first hour of stream, that will be wonderful because then you'll have at least two hours to vote. But to, I'll keep the poll open for twenty-four hours. I'll keep it open until tomorrow's stream. I might keep it up longer. But depending on how many votes we get in, but if we've got a fair few votes in, I'll close the poll to tomorrow's stream. So, um, exciting guys, I'll be talking you through what those poll options are going to be very soon. Um, it's an accent from the UK corner of the internet. Hi Lev, welcome to the stream. Unrelated to anything here, but curious where your accent is from. I'm from England, and um, if you're curious where in England, I'm from the middle. I'm from the Midlands, should I say? That sounds very Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I say I, I'm I'm pretty proud of that, but I don't tell anybody what city I live in or anything like that. I had someone in last week come in trying to figure out my exact location, but I don't give people that just for just for safety reasons. Being sensible as a streamer on the internet, <laughs> don't advise people to give out their locations if you live in a small city. <laughs> Small way from work, look. Hi, Atterell. How are you doing today? Welcome. I hope you're having a good day. The Middle Ages, old Middle East. Oh, my God, man. Myself sound like I lived centuries ago then, Juice. My goodness. I'd be a, a real old lady. I am an old lady, though, guys. I'm a vampire. I'm actually really old, but because I'm a vampire, it makes me look young. It's like middle earth. It is. Uh, I, the Midlands. I mean, it's meant to be Midlands, but... Midlands sounds way more epic, doesn't it, if I say I'm from there. So I do sound like I come from Middle Earth. No problem, understandable. Yeah, I mean, obviously everybody is a street, even like you guys as viewers. Uh, don't t tell your location in chat because, you know, it's uh, all of us are on the internet here and you don't know who's watching. M m everybody here that I know is a very, lo very lovely person. So, but you never know who's lurking in the shadows, do you? You never know. You've got to be safe. Um, so just be careful, guys. Don't give out your don't give out your city, especially if it's a small one. Who designed your vampire character? Oh, you mean in my panels, Juice, the one with the samurai sword? Is that the one you mean? Don't worry, nobody can find me in this area of Gotham City. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I live in uh, Seattle. Come visit me and I'll make you dinner. Seattle's meant to be a nice place, isn't it? You have UK friends, but no one sounds like her, me, me, me. <laughs> very specific for sure. I do have a very unique 
UK accent. I'm super unique. I've even I'm even bragging it about in my Twitter profile now. If you follow me on Twitter, guys, I'll give you my link in the command. I'm brag I brag about my accent in my bio. I'm very proud. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the one in the info. That, it's, I've actually got the name of the artist in the panel. If you have a little peek, let me have a... Go down to the bottom in the info section and it's got channel art there. And it's got the link to the person that did that character art. Their name is Art of SCS. They're really good. They do a lot of comic style art. As you can tell, because mine's kind of comic arty, that character art is. I definitely recommend like commissioning them because they're, they're really good. And it was done really quick as well, and exactly how I wanted it to look. Rose never stops. My accent is like that. I'm very, I'm very full of myself. <laughs> Not really. I'm the opposite. But you know, we've all got to have some, some that we like about ourselves, haven't we? Hi, Leg. Like, what are you doing today? I live on live on just Tildstall in the Hummingcomb Forest. Come visit sometime, Leg. Like, Mark, you've you've got such an imagination. I love it. You're the one egging her on half the time. <laughs> yep. You know, I'm, I love that you guys would say nice things about me. We've all got to have nice things said. Okay. Um. So, should we get on with it? I don't know where to begin, actually, because there's a lot to say. There's a lot I've done. And it, you know how it says I've ticked things off my list of things to do? Well, I've got a load of new things that have been added to that list. So, it kind of it's kind of like I haven't really made any progress but that's uh, that's the nature of game dev isn't it okay guys so should we do a test play first or shall i just shall we start this poll first hmm we're gonna do a bit of both i think because i'm gonna have to do a test play and take some screenshots anyway because when we put the poll up on discord um i'm gonna want to i'm gonna put a brief description of each option and a screenshot to support the option so you guys know what you're voting for because otherwise you might be confused and wonder what it is but what it is if you look in the title we've got um game mode and options so if you were in last week's stream on thursday i talked briefly about game modes um the fact is in games we all like to play them a certain way don't we some people love maps on the screen some people love very clear directions and they love to see ui quest markers all that kind of stuff like the quality of life uh as they i think is the term um in gaming some people love that they love it to be as accessible as possible other people don't other p people prefer a more old school approach where they're sort of playing it blind in a very, um, and it makes it more immersive that way, not having those quest markers and being able to find things yourself without following a marker. People, some people find that more filling, whereas there's other people like me who have to have quest markers because I'm very likely to get frustrated and rage quit if I don't have those quest markers. Is that just me? I get lost easily in games. But You've got pros like Hasriel and Elite and uh, Cheese who, who uh, yeah, they don't need quest markers because they can play the game and they just love the exploring, I guess. They love not being hung out. So I've been rambling a bit, but I think you get my point now. So basically the poll, we, we thought of game modes for that reason. Um, but there's another option today. I'm I'm also thinking scrapping game modes and having everything in the options menu instead that you can either enable or disable. But game modes works too, but the only problem with game modes is that you cannot change it during the game. You have to pick it at the start, which mode you want, whether you want the immersive blind mode without the UI or whether you want the UI accessible quality of life mode with all the icons and stuffs so once you if if we go for the game modes route you kind of have to choose it at the start and you're not allowed to change it. and the reason why it can't be changed is because the plugin doesn't allow it and i'm sure there's other plugins out there or maybe we don't even need a plugin that could do a similar thing to that and allow you to change it but i'm not sure that i have the ability to create something like that um there's always a chance, but for now, I'm going to say that that will, can't be changed in game because I know from what I know so far, it can't be. 
Um, so that is what made me think, is that a good idea? It could be. Some people might think um, I like that I can pick a mode and not and be stuck with that. Other people might think, no, I want to change it if I want to halfway through the game or um, so. And, and that's what made me think we could potentially not do game modes and just have an options menu that has an on off switch for say mini map objectives uh, uh enemy indicators quest markers quest directions all that sort of thing and you can that way people would be able to sort of have it how exactly how they want to their kind of ideal how they like to play it, to their comfort, if you get what I mean. So, basically, I'm going to just put a poll saying, would you guys prefer game mode or options? And um, I'm going to try and make the poll as clear as possible in case you're a bit confused still. So, I'm going to put screenshots sort of with that of, the, of what a game mode screen would look like and also the options screen. So, um, hopefully. And it's only because we need to pick one of the two, basically, because it's going to be a bit complicated to have both game mode and the options menu it kind of defeats the point of game modes as well if we're gonna have them in the options so we're gonna pick one or the other I, I think that's the right way to go and it's whatever's gonna be the most the most popular well liked out of the two because I don't mind in all honesty we can go for the game modes where you pick at the start of the game what mode you want and keep that mode forever all the way through without changing it or options where it's a little bit more flexible and i want to see what what the community like because i honestly could go with it either i'm gonna catch up with chat first and then we're gonna put the poll yay i know you yeah i know you love me don't worry about it. i think the general perception of uk from people who don't live there two main areas are london and not london yeah uk is a very big place there's a lot of accents in the uk too we're full of different kinds of accents here but yeah, for international people, we probably all sound the same. I have 145 bits saved up from watching ads, but I'm thinking about saving them for next month so I can be wearing the lead. Oh, that's a cheeky approach, Elite. I like it though. Because the leaderboard does reset in, I think, three days. It, it, we have a new one every month in this stream. Some people have weekly bit boards, but I choose to have a monthly one. Because I feel like it, it's nice to keep it there for a longer time. It's sometimes frustrating out without, but the reward is oh, what what am I? What are we talking about, cheese? What is frustrating? There's one thing I cannot remember. But it's getting it's you getting frustrated on rage quitting. Well, you haven't been around when I was playing video games. When I was playing Dark Souls, there have been times I was close to rage quitting that game. All right, because Dark Souls doesn't have map, and I love Dark Souls, but I got very frustrated and lost in it sometimes because there was no map. <laughs> I love my maths. It's pretty calming to your voice while working on my theatre. Oh, really? That's good. I'm glad I've got a calm voice. So, changing things like throughout the game can be exploited. This bit's too hard. I'll make it easier, then change back. Yeah, and as real, if we were going to go for the options, say if options wins the poll over game modes, then we just have to be super careful what we allow in the options. You know what I mean? I'm not going to have a difficulty meter or anything. Like easy, hard. We're not going to have it. But it, it would all be purely UI. Like the thing, the visual stuff. Like hide the mini-map. Hide uh, the quest objectives. Hide the quest markers above the heads. Hide where they are on the map. Hide, and hide anything in the UI. So you guys who like playing it blind without all that stuff can literally have all those setters off and people like me could have them setters on or we could have some setters on and some setters off because some people might be in between the two they might think well i like the mini map but i don't want that bit you know what i mean so there's a bit more flexibility there whereas if we go for the game modes option it's one extreme to another do you know what i mean it's either completely blind or completely with all the ui and you'll have to have it all either all on or all off and i feel like that the one good thing about game modes is that we can be creative like we can have a, we can give them cool names and you can even potentially have an achievement for playing the whole game in the in the blind immersive mode like you you got an achievement because you played the whole Raindrop Chronicles episode 1 completely blind. Whereas if we had the options mode, 
we wouldn't be able to have achievements because people could have potentially been turning them on and off throughout the game. So they wouldn't deserve an achievement, you know. I mean, if they played some of it blind, but some of it with the UI. But you get full credit. If you played all of it blind, you would be deserving of an achievement. And so I guess it's just what people like. And I want to give you guys the option. I'm very curious myself what people are going to prefer and what's going to top the poll. So, um,. Because like I said, I don't mind. We can eat if we end up with the game modes style feature thing. That is cool for me. But if we, dis you guys decide you prefer the flexibility of the options menu, then we will go for that one too. It's whatever tops the poll. And if say it's fifty fifty <laughs> for some reason, then I'll get the final say. Um, but it's unlikely to be exactly the same. That rarely happens. But we'll see how it goes. Um, let's get creative! Yay! When you were talking about markers, just saying that it was still sometimes a strain without markers, but the path was huge when you finally figure out something in the game. Yeah, I see the appeal of playing it all. I see the appeal of having it all off for sure, all the UI. Like, it's there's something very fulfilling about playing it that way. I definitely agree. I can see why people would want to play it like that for sure. Um, but it's my like there are people out there who love the accessibility and love to be guided and they can they just rage quit if they don't have those guides because you know and there's nerds like me I like to pick up all the quests I love to think I've got 100% of the quests and I, I actually get really upset if I even just miss one quest so that's why quest markers for me are very valuable but for sure like I can totally get why people would be like but I, I want to find it myself I don't want to find with a quest mark because it's fine it's kind of like you're on autopilot then so I kind of get that too it's very easy to take you out of it and feel you playing the game on autopilot for sure it's pretty addictive stuff yeah okay let's get that for this poll written then so have we got to get Carol the Barrel up or not? Basically, we have a bot in our Discord called Carol the Barrel. And we get her up when we do polls. But mainly the community polls. So I don't think we need her for voting on any polls. So we don't need her this time. So let's just get my Discord up a sec. Oh, no. Window capture doesn't recognise Discord again. Here we go. We're here. So I'm going to delete this poll when we put the new one. This one's going to go. Um, this was a poll I pulled ages ago, just finding out what people liked in the stream. So we'll be the poll will be this style, but just with two options on and you can vote with we'll the Discord reactions. So we'll be deleting that in a sec. So if you want to vote on this one, vote on it now. Um, I'll take a, I'll, I'll be taking a screenshot of it before I delete it because I like to keep the poll results and and look back at them and have an archive of them. So um, I'm going to get a test play up chat. Um, so I'm going to take a couple of screenshots of the this game mode screen and the option screen. So you can all see what it looks like. Um, right, but I think there's a couple of things I want to do first. Hang on. So there's two different plugins I'm using. This is the one that I'm using for the... The game modes it's called a difficulty plugin but as isn't a difficulty one it's just you know the game mode of what the ui is it's not going to change the actual difficulty of the battles or anything like that at all it's all about the ui and the and what's visible and what isn't more than anything thank you witching for that follow appreciate it anybody else that's followed as well today appreciate it if i missed it and the one we, we'd use for the options menu is, where is it? The Yanfly one, options core. So we'll probably still have options core even if we don't go for the option, if, even if options doesn't win the poll. But we obviously won't have all the UI things in the options core. We'll just have the simple stuff like audio volume and things like that. Um, but let me have a look at something. Okay, I'll go back to this in a sec. I still need to make a couple of adjustments to the options menu so I can show off the screenshot to its full potential. Um, but the, the game mode screenshot is done. I did that over the weekend, so we're going to look now. We're going to do a test play. Okay. 
I'm going to mute the, the sound for a sec so it doesn't we have some background music on but I do want to do some test plies with the sound today um, so this uh, let me whoa, you can't go you guys can't see but here we go the options menu is kind of like this and I've only got the quest window and mini map in here at the moment but I want to just put the other stuff in um, to show you how it would work. Obviously I won't be able to do all the setup and attach any switches or stuff to them yet because that's going to take time but I at least want it to show visually what it's going to look like and that will literally just take a couple of minutes. Um, so basically new game as soon as you press new game this comes up if we go into the game mode option basically. And it'll basically say a warning, this cannot be changed on the game. So you're stuck with it. Which, to be honest, I actually do like that the game mode, this plugin doesn't let you change it during the game. Because, like you say, people can exploit it. So it feels if we're going to have a game mode option, we might as well. You're stuck with it forever, <laughs> sort of thing. Because it could be exploited, I agree with what Asriel says. Um, so yeah, it's either the mode where the stuff is visible and it tells you what's visible or all one way it's hidden and some of these over time as we introduce more features to the game we might have a longer list but at the moment those are the only things we've really got um, so I'm going to take a screenshot and I'm also going to take a screenshot of what it looks like the game looks like when it's got the UI on and what it looks like when it hasn't as well um, because I actually set it up, I've done it so it works now. If you play it like this, you won't have a hood or anything at all in that mode. And you do if you do that. I managed to get it working, so I feel pretty cool because of that. So we're gonna we're gonna play by so I'm gonna take a screenshot. Um is that save that screenshot somewhere or do I have to save it myself? I'll save it myself. I'll just, I'll just hide it for a sec. We're going to take a few screenshots today. I agree with that sentiment. Oh, which one? I feel like I've said about a bazillion things. <laughs> and Chess, thank you for the follow. How are you all guys doing? Um, it's lovely to meet you all. Feel free to say hi. We're a friendly bunch, aren't we, chat? Um, so... We'll go for this mode first. This one is the UI mode. And for the UI one, we're going to create Jesus. And for the non-UI mode, we'll create Jesus, but without a beard. <laughs> and that way we'll distinguish between the two. Oh no, we haven't made Jesus, damn it. We just made some random guy, oh wow. Oh wow, we'll just make him, it's fine. Jesus will have to wait. About the thing on the stuff. No, I'll never know what it was now. But, his name is But. The good thing about, you know, if you literally just press enter constantly in this custom character creator, that's who you'll make. Is the first option for everything. So I have changed a little bit of this. This might look a bit different now to what it was before. And we've done test plays. We've got a, we're gonna have a permanent closer sort of bigger sort of visual thing with round drop corner because now I feel definitely more cozy like this than having a far out smaller sprite view. Good old Carol the Barrel. We had a little a bug um, last stream with the boxes. We've fixed those now. Um, unfortunately, with the Zoom plugin, it makes the dialog boxes above the heads incompatible. It, the two don't work together well. But I found a way around it. I just use coordinates now. I set the dialog box with coordinates. So it's a little bit longer to figure out the right point. It's really a lot easier if you, I could just attach a dialog box to an event. But we can't do that. I've searched the forums endlessly for a solution but haven't found one. And it's a quite popular request as well. There's a lot of people that would love to get this working but we don't have 
uh, a, a solution so this feels like a good temporary fix maybe until maybe there is one okay so okay so I have to start again because I've realized I've not done something right <laughs> I forgot that I was messing about with how to set the switches up last night and I put this map on switch here, over here and got rid of it from this event so I've got to put it back in because this is a very vital switch to get the UI up um, I think it goes there I think no it might go down here actually yeah it goes down here so I'm gonna put that back in and if we do go for the options menu salute like if that wins the poll I will have to remove that from there because if we do things a little bit differently the setup has to kind of change slightly so I have it set up for game modes at the moment um, and yeah I, I don't even know if I do things efficiently I'm using common events for all this by the way I've set up a load of common events for the map off script and all that it's a little my it might be super messy for all I know but this I managed to get it working so <laughs> that's that's it as long as it works I'm not like a pro code or anything so the solutions I might go for might be a bit you know a bit complex or maybe a bit messy but as long as it works right as long as it works and the game doesn't crash um Okay, so let's start again. We'll make Jesus this time. Make Jesus this time. But I'm going to save the screenshot I took. Because we'll be putting this up in the poll. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll take a screen. There'll be a couple of screenshots. I don't want to put too much information in the poll. Because so, I don't want to overwhelm you all. But kind of want to show off what each of them do and what each of them look like at least so people know what they're voting for because sometimes people will just vote on anything and maybe not understand what it is so um yep let's do another test play so i want to take one screenshot of the game with the ui and one screenshot of the game without the ui um because I feel that that's something to show so people know what the blind mode is and what the quality of life mode is um, and then I'll literally just put a screenshot up of the game mode menu which is uh, where's it gone which is here and I'll and then I'll put a screenshot up of the options menu so there'll be full screenshots all together and I'll just put literally a brief description of um, of each of them and then that's it we'll get the poll up so how long have we been streaming? 46 minutes. If we can we can get the polls up in the first hour, that will be awesome. And then um, we'll do a little bit, little a few little bits and bobs today related to the UI and a few other things. We've got I've got quite a big list of things to do, and I do want to move on to the skills stuff because that's something really important that we need to do before we can really progress with the game. But it's always good to tick things off the list so it doesn't get too big either. So, yeah, we'll do UI mode first. And it does, it looks pretty basic at the moment, that screen does, but we can make it look prettier, I guess. I've heard that we can have, we can put background images with that plugin, so there's always that option to just make it look a little bit more pretty. Um, we'll make Jesus again. I'm, loyal, I'm literally loyal to this Jesus character now. He's become a staple in Raindrop Chronicles. <laughs> Jesus the emo as well. I haven't decided whether he suits Warrior more or Hunter more. He, he suits both. Um, I, um, I sort of made a few edits to this as well over the weekend. Um, the name menu had the face in before and I got rid of the face because I feel like it's redundant to have the face in the name menu when we've already got it there. I 
it looks a little bit tidier now. Let's get through this quick. We'll just breeze through this dialogue now and get this cutscene out of work because we need to get those screenshots. I don't want to. I don't want to waste time getting this poll up because it's. I like to get it up early. We get, get the most votes we can. Okay, so the map the the map has come up, the UI, we have the quest marker, the shop in tavern icons, etc. Um, we haven't unlocked the quest journal yet. Well, we haven't unlocked our first quest, so that hasn't come up yet, but it will once we talk to Nigel. And he, he has a quest marker above his head too, which you might have seen. Um So if things, if a few things look a bit different to before, it's because I um I changed them over the weekend to what I believe looks better. Why isn't the quest journal shown? It's probably classic clashing with our options menu. That's why. But obviously, um, we won't. If we go for the game mode option, if that wins the poll, we won't have quest window on or on off in the options menu we're only going to adapt if we go for a non-game mode thing because it's cheating otherwise to be able to change things in the game when you've gone for a particular game mode um so yeah let's go outside now i'm gonna take a screeny of this hey that is bad. Stop stop coming up, file explodes. A good job I thought nothing nothing for you guys to know as yet. <laughs> okay, so let's go back to this menu for a sec. Hi Jackal, how are you doing? It's good to see you. Are you having a good day? I'm gonna save that as I'll save these on my desktop so I can get to these screenshots quicker. Um Okay, so that's the UI on. Let's do another test play, and we do want it now without the UI. And hopefully it'll work, because it was working, but because I was messing about with um, how the options menu would work, it did, it, ha it has kind of messed about with the game modes. But like we said, we can't have them both. We have to choose one or the other. Okay, so this time, we're going to make Jesus again, but without a beard, because this is no UI Jesus. And no beard either. I mean, we could just make Jesus again, but I, w I want to be able to distinguish between the two, because we're going to have to save the game and um, tr make test the different modes, make sure they work fine. Um, if we go for the game mode option, that is. It's kind of... Because I don't know which one's going to win the poll, so I don't want to get too attached to one particular option yet. But they'll, they'll both be easy enough to make work. None of them are harder than the other, I'd say, to set up. I, I absolutely have no preference which one wins the poll. But if, it's, if it ends up being 50-50, I'll have to choose. So, Jesus looks strange that beard, doesn't he? <laughs> he doesn't look, he looks very, un, he looks very non jesus -y. Oh no, it doesn't fit. I was going to call him no beard Jesus. No. UI. Jesus, that fits. 
Oh, a lovely name. <laughs> Hi, Kung, how's it going? It's good to see you. How are you doing today? Not doing too bad now. I had a few tech issues earlier because Windows Blue screamed on me today. And that's why I'm wearing a blue dress. <laughs> to celebrate the blue screen but it yeah stream started late because of that but it's all good now and um, we're, we're having fun i'm gonna be putting a poll up very soon so if you want to uh want to have your say anybody who's hanging out make sure make sure you keep your eye but uh you'll see anyway in stream when it goes up if you're hanging about Hope you're having a good day, Kunk. I'm getting hungry already. I feel like I just had my lunch, but I'm hungry already. To get some almond milk. It's my new fave. Okay, so all going well. Yeah, it's worked. So this is the no, no UI mode, guys. And all going well, Nigel won't have a question mark above his head either. Nope, it's all hidden. I even thought about taking it even further and hiding the quest objectives as well um, for those who would rather have it blind. Um, and all you'd have is the quest description. Um, but the objectives would be hidden that way. You, you wouldn't be told where to go because the, the objectives kind of give you directions in a way and that defeats the point. Um, so your quest journal would be a lot more you just literally have a description to go off and I feel like that could be a good approach but it's, it's still a we don't know yet but it's an idea um, all sorts of I like the blue colour on you guys well with the black hair thank you Kung well I'm, I'm kind of not black haired but some people think I am because my hair is so dark but it's like a very 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 dark brunette Sorry puppies, we don't have links here. I'm going to have to ban you, unfortunately. Because that could have been something bad. <laughs> yeah, no links, especially if you're new to a stream. It's not a good impression to set. Um, it's mixed feelings today. I found out that my youngest will be operating instead of once because he wears. Oh my goodness, I hope he goes okay. If you need to chat, we've got the shelter channel, Kung. Um, if you need to, to talk to us about it. Hugs, hugs for you, Kung. Okay, um, so I'm going to take a picture. It's, it looks like it's working. And that's the main thing. I've got it working. Um, print screen. And I'm going to have to go back to this screen while I print screen because for some reason when I print screen it brings up my file explorer and it's not I don't think there's anything on my file explorer that's like reveals anything about me or anything so we good but I just do it for a precaution more than anything um so we got a screenshot of how it looks without the UI now um and gone I'm a big old fuss pot, so I actually want him to stand in the exact same spot as how he was on that screenshot. So that's UI off. Um, and now all we all I need to do now is the options menu to show you guys how that would look. Um, so I'm going to just make uh, a little bit more fancy visually because we only had the two options in there so far. I just want to show it off more because otherwise people will think this is a boring options menu. So um, we'll do that and then I'll, I'll start writing up the poll then. So I, I do need to organise these plugins better though. Um, and categorise them, split them up a bit. I've got them all in the right order, but they're just a little bit, you know, it'd be good to categorise them. 
options call. Here we go. So I'll just go to the I'll just go on this screen so you can see the plugin. Oh yeah, my dress is a bit see-through today. Nothing serious though, it's just scary my own courses. I, just, I wish you the best of luck, Kong. I'll be thinking about you. Okay, so. So, mini map is hidden. Shop tavern in symbols are hidden. Hidden. Quest window. I'm going to call this. I don't know how to sum it up. How would you sh build in symbols? Just call it build in symbols, I guess. Actually, we can't. Unfortunately, we won't be able to turn those off in the options main because it's all attached to the map. So it's all, all included in the mini map, that one is actually. So we'll de delete that one. But what else can we do? The, 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 uh, the enemy indicators can be turned off though, even with the mini map on. That's fine, because they're, they're a, just a setup on a switch, they are. Oops, I cannot spell. Um, quest markers and directions. Yeah, we that we can hide the quest markers fine as well. Some people might like quest markers on, but not the quest directions on. So. The good thing about the options menu one, there's flexibility there for people that wouldn't you wouldn't have this flexibility in the game mode. You're stuck with the, what you've got in the game mode, if you get what I mean, and you can't change it. Some people like that because they feel like it's a challenge to be stuck with it being that way. Other people might want the. So we'll, I guess we'll see what the what which part wins. We'll certainly see, won't we? Um, I think that that should be fine. Let's take a screenshot of our options menu then. Um, so play the game again. This will be quick. Which is the options is right there on the the main menu. It's also it, yeah, it's in the main menu in game and at the start. So. Uh, print screen. And now this is our final screenshot now. So we've got one of the game modes menu, one of the options menu, and um, we don't need to necessarily show that bit. So yeah, it's a bit rough around the edges. Things will get changed in the options menu, of course, with different and better icons. Well, this is just the basic template at the moment. So we've got our screenshots ready. Um, let's get Discord up then for the poll. Here we go. Also, one sec, let's get the Steam avatars up a minute. Wanted to do something. Uh. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how to resize the avatars. Actually, look, I'm playing with you all. 
I just threw myself off. Oh no, where am I? Have I gone forever now? I chucked myself off the screen. Looking good. <laughs> Yay. I threw oh she's back. Rose is back. Sorry. <laughs> Look, I'm picking the kitty up. Oh, you landed straight on your feet, yeah. Okay, so oh, I wanted to like resize our avatars today. I just wanted to make them a touch bigger. They look super big on this screen, but we wouldn't have them this big because that's too big. But I just kind of felt like making them a touch bigger because now we've got the pixels zoomed in times two as the permanent perspective in the game. It feels appropriate to make make them a little touch bigger than they are here because this was the, the size by default that they would have been if we kept the small sprites but we recently changed it in the last stream really enjoy seeing my character on the screen yay i'm glad i i'm trying to figure figure something out quick access oh this is it we got it um so i'm gonna go back on this screen so we can actually see how it looks on this screen if we was to resize have they gone big oh they've gone bigger look Oh my god, they're tiny. <laughs> so this is what they were. That was what they were originally. I think they're a little bit, maybe a little bit big when they're like that. What do you guys think? What what would be a good size for them? So we need your opinions on what works best. So I don't want them to be super small. I want you to be able to see them. I, want them, but I don't want them to be like, I mean, just not too bad like that, but it might be a bit much. How about like that? The name scale is the most it can be. Meanwhile, if we do it like that, you can barely see the name. Um. Yeah, we'll see how it goes at this size, for sure. Okay, uh, right, back to Discord. So this is voting only polls. This is where we'll be putting the poll. And when it's, when it's up, I'll put the link up as a command just so you can get there quicker, peeps in chat. Um, so I'm gonna take just take a screenshot of this because I want to I want to keep an archive of previous polls. Um, and then we'll delete that one because that one's been standing there for a long time now. It's been there for a long time. We've got plenty of votes on it. get rid of that one now um right and i need to think of what work how we're gonna have the wording of this poll because uh i want to make it clear to everybody i don't want to confuse peoples i'm just gonna look at previous poll give me an idea Okay, so we, we got to put some screenshots up as well to support these. So we got four. How are these going to look? I'm just going to have a quick peek and see how these look. Screenshots in here. I 
I don't know, I don't necessarily think we need to have these screenshots actually in this poll. We could have far too much information otherwise if we put these in. I think if you've been watching the streams, you can you you basically know what it looks like with and without the UI. So we'll get rid of those. But we will have the screenshot for the um to show what the game mode and the options menu look like at least. Okay, so um, yeah, I'll put the poll up first and then I'll put the screenshot sort of each of them with a caption just describing what each of them are and why one's better than the other. But I don't want to be biased, so I might not actually go into detail about why some are better than the other. Um, I'll just literally say the difference between them. Um, okay. Uh, game mode allows you to choose between two modes before the game begins. Um, this can't be changed during the game. Um, hmm. It allows you to choose between two modes uh, before the game begins. One mode shows all the UI the first mode shows all the UI in brackets mini map writing this all up in notepad first by the way guys so I can literally just copy and paste into discord um, shows no how it's all the UI the first mode is Hi Kaz, how are you doing today? It's good to see you. I hope you have a good day. I'm quiet in the mic because I'm, I'm putting my thinking cap on, thinking how to to word this poll. Options um, allows you to change the UI. No, it allows you to switch the UI on or off at any time during the game. It
But you're coming to talk to a friend for a birthday and loved it, so that made me smile. How you? That's so sweet, Kaz. That's lovely. Uh, I'm sure they'll love that present. How, how's you? Apart from uh, my win my PC blue screening before stream, I'm having a marvellous day. <laughs> I am a bit blue actually today and I, I did have to change my setting because of my blue dress, that's why. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to wear my blue dress on stream because my green screen, it does, it does kind of make it invisible if I'm not careful. And then I'll look like I'm, I've got nothing, like I'm just a headless, a headless streamer with no torso. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, blue screen, we're in a blue dress. Right, so, hmm. Let's just switch your UI on and off at any time. During the game. Nearly done. One, one with the UI all off. And one with the UI all off. Actually, no. It's fine how it is. Okay, so I think I'm I'm okay with this now. I'm not like going into super detail with these captions that I'm going to put on here. Um, because I want you, I don't want to, I want you guys to make your own minds up. Okay. So let's think how I'm going to word this poll. I forgot how to do polls actually. Let me just test. Hmm. Right. Okay, this is how you set it up. That's it. In poll. Zoom in a little bit so you guys can see the text bigger. Um, yeah, and then the question, yeah, they go in thingy my jigs. Sit, delete. Okay, we. Okay, so I'll, I'll think of what we'll say the question after, but the first note. Options. Okay, we can only choose one. What should we go for? Um. Okay. Hopefully, um, this this is enough. But I will be putting screenshots underneath to support this. And I think. Each one automatically gets one vote each by the the little bot thing. So now let's get the screenshots in with these. Um, first game, the game modes one. So I think it's is it that for Bolden? No, that's, that's, uh, put italics, let's do it again. Oh no, the refresh. One sec, you sec. Discord being a butt face and it's not loading stuff, but it will now. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's working now. So, yeah, it's two of these to bold.
Hmm, one sack. I'm actually going to do the option screenshot. I'm going to hide the st sound stuff because it's not even relevant. So. We'll do it again. Oh no, we've got to refresh it again. Why is it when you it does that? Why does it Discord be a silly bot? We go on and off. Well, it let us then. Yeah, it is now. Huzzah! Okay, I hope it all makes sense now. If there's anything at all that you feel I should say in this poll, just to make things clearer, now is your chance to say. Because the poll is, is basically going up now. Well, it is up now. <laughs> It was so, oh yeah, right, I was I was alive when that song came out as well, I think I was at school. <laughs> it was very catchy back in the day. Hi Akira, how's it going? It's good to see you. Look at all your cuties aren't there, your characters walking across. How are you doing? Is Legion's leaving us with a bit of his, a bit of his story. I hope Legion's doing alright as well. Thank you for the follow, appreciate that. That's a lot of numbers. <laughs> okay. Um, so, guys, get your votes in. As you can see, we've put a poll up today. Um, and it's literally, I'll just run through it again so everyone gets it. I've tried to explain as best as we can here anyway. But um, we, we, ha we have to choose between either having an option, the UI changed via options, or changed with game modes. Um, options is the more flexible one so if you like flexibility and you like to change things at any time during the game you don't want to be stuck with a certain mode forever then options solves that problem whereas the game mode you won't be able to change that during the game you have to pick up the start you've got that it that way forever um, so it, it's whether it's whatever is your cup of tea and whatever is the most desired out the two i guess because we can't have both it's too confusing to have both there's no point having game mode if you can change it in the options menu if you get what i mean it's either one or the other um and both of them will be easy enough to do really i wouldn't say one will be harder than the other to set up got got a little inspiration mode with that sentence yeah i look i love i love how uh how, how much you ro you're into role playing lead and Makira. Super awesome. I love how in depth his character is. Okay. Oh, you get everyone's getting the votes in already. Should we get should we get this poll up on the in the chat so we can all get the votes in everyone? Should we do that? Okay, so I'm gonna copy and paste. Copy and paste this and we're gonna open our bot now. So we got a Time up, Paul! Exclamation mark, Paul! Um, and hopefully this should lead straight to the poll. I'll copy and paste this. Okay, so exclamation mark poll. That should come up now, or maybe not. Maybe we have to tick it <laughs> first. There we go. Poll, we can only choose one. What should we go for? Game modes or options? And then it, you can either join the Discord if you're not in there yet, or you can click on the longer link if you're in there and you just want to get to the, the correct channel quicker. 
and it'll take you to the the place where for the voting and it'll have the screenshots of what the game mode menu looks like and what the options menu looks like and uh, yeah the icons are ugly at the moment <laughs> we will change those anyway and just to make them clear we will be having an options menu anyway even if we do have game modes we will still have an options menu but it will it won't have all this stuff in where you can change the ui it'll just be a change of audio and a few the and things like that just the simple options things but obviously um if we don't have the game modes we'll, we'll just stick we'll stick to having all the ui on or off as a as a sort of toggle in the options menu so we're getting the votes thing that everybody loving this and feel if you if you like the game modes don't be shy to vote for it even if the the options one is winning and being more popular um are uh, yeah Feel free to root for your favourite one. I'm sure some peeps might like the game mode one. Um, but yes. Um, we'll see. We'll see what wins. I'm going to keep this poll open until tomorrow's stream. What's this all about? Hi, Quack Attack. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? We're, we're kind of just having a Discord poll at the moment for like a decision in the game. I guess I guess it's a is it we just call this a game mechanic. It's more of a game design decision more than anything. For if we're gonna well, if you're curious, the Discord's our place to be! Exclamation mark poll. And you can have your say. But if you actually want to find out more about the project in general, we have a command for that too. If I can spell it correctly, so feel free to have a little look at that. We have a website on the way though as well. How are you doing, Quack? Good to meet you. Oh, sorry. I hit my funny bone on the desk. I blame my Windows blue screen. It's ma it's made me clumsy. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna leave that for now. The poll's all up and ready, and we've got the and I'll be spamming the chat with the poll command now and again throughout the stream. Um, but for now, we're going to get on with some stuff. We'll have a look. I'm going to have a, list, a look at my list of things that we've got to do in the game. Have a peek at that in a minute. Okie dokie. I have a, a super long list. And let you all have a peek at what my list is but i do have i think i've got a discord channel actually where i put all my stuff as well so i'm gonna show that so this is all my my nonsense in here i put everything in here so uh that's no longer the writing dialogue one Oh, that's that's there twice now. Yeah, because that's kind of our primary tasks, these things here. And I've bolded the ones that we're focusing on at the moment, but I also like to braid them down into smaller things so I actually know what I'm doing. Um, so there's loads of stuff to do, loads of random stuff. I do want to do, I really do want to do skills though for the rest of the week. So from tomorrow onwards, tomorrow's stream for sure, we'll be talking about skills. Dedicate that stream to skills. Doing well. I've also had a dream of making game and game design has always fascinated me. This is a neat, neat stream idea. Thank you, Quack. That's awesome to hear. Yeah. Um, it's uh, super fun knowing that people are enjoying this as much as me because I'm having a blast and... Um, peeps that hang out here are having fun too it is i i i'm having lots of fun doing this and it's a community game and you can all get involved too you can be a character in the game once you get enough uh, raindrops in the stream too and that's who these guys are here walking across the screen <laughs> feeding kitties oh you've been feeding your kitties elite i, po I posted my cat in the adorable 
in our adorable pets channel yesterday actually i mean she's not with us anymore but it was it was national black cat day so i felt it was appropriate <laughs> um okay so what are you gonna do first today uh tidy up the game mode options menu yeah that's I kind of already done that fix footsteps oh yeah i've introduced footsteps to the game now and i'm going to do a test play and show you um the black text bug is kind of still there i thought i fixed it but i didn't and then i i do want to have the option for the journal text to hide objectives for people in whether it's in the game mode or options where which whatever one ends up winning um we will it will be a good thing to have the option to hide it because objectives are a very yeah that's that's something that's more of a ideal for people that like the direction in games but i think people who don't like the direction prefer to just have the descriptions to go off in their quests because not everybody likes being told where to go so um that is definitely possible to do i had a little look change descriptions to what you know um that is because we our hero asks questions sometimes in the choice mode so say if like you don't bother asking any questions and you just like skip and miss bits it would be good for um the journal text to not add that so if you've been quick and lazy and you don't go through all the dialogue then your quest description will be very brief as well so basically only only anything you've asked and anything you know will be in the quest description if that makes sense so that that means it's up to you guys to not miss dialogue if you want to know where you're going for those of you that like playing in immersive mode because you won't get the quest objectives to go from either um and the other things were just a few little visual things i wanted to change um uh yeah so it's mostly done it's literally just bits and bobs but the game is very playable now um you can go through the game and everything works everything connects everything triggers when it should so that's the main thing i got all that fixed over the weekend really um because there were a lot of bugs so that i needed to do and it all it all runs perfectly and we're going to do a test play with sound on um to see how that all goes we're going to go from it from start to to how where we currently are in the game um and oh my goodness guys seems like options is just kicking game modes his butt at the moment we because before this stream we were we were like solidly with the game mode idea because that's what we discussed on thursday um game mode so people liked that for sure but it seems people like the flexibility of options even more um and feel free to say like why you prefer the options because it'll be always good to know why why it's the most like so feel free to say that in chat or in the discord if you'd like to um your black kitty was very cute she's adorable she was such a clingy cat she was so clingy i agree i oh, thank you hi pepper how's it going today it's good to see you hope you're having a good day um, I'm going to go to a quick art BRB guys, just a very very short one, just for a couple of minutes and when I get back we're going to do a test play. Um, we'll do the one with the UI first and we'll do one without the UI after because I kind of want to show you how both modes look. Um, because how the game is currently set up is for this mode, you see, we, we have it working for this. Um, if options does win the poll, we will. I will have to change things about a bit. It's not going to be too much work. It'll be worth it if that's the the favoured option. So I'll probably spend uh, some time this week getting that menu set up if it's confirmed to be the winner, and then we can we can test it and make sure everything's working. Um, but literally, it's very easy. It's an on and off switch basically so you just have to set it up in the plugin menu you have to say what the switch is and then you have to set the switch up in the common events to do what it should so um and sometimes you the switch will have to be done in the actual events it all depends what it is 
because uh, I'll, I'll get RPG Maker up for a sec and just show you, give you an idea how I've done it. Um, so the map off script is really simple. It's all done with pictures. All the indicators uh, will be on pictures and quest little thing images. So I've done it so um, it'll erase all the pictures up to picture 90. So that that is just because there's a chance when we get to bigger cities later on, they, there will be a lot of icons on the map. It's a very basic sci-fi, we only are using a few pictures, but there, there could potentially be a lot of icons on on bigger bigger areas if we get a lot of quests so I, I that's why i've put it as that much and then it allows us the last 10 pictures picture 90 to 100 to to use for general pictures that we don't want being erased by the map off script so who knows if that's the most effective way to do it but it was like the most obvious way to do it in my mind um and some of these are just yeah hide qu all quest objectives so Basically that is if you're playing in blind mode, quest one, it hides the objectives and I'll have to do it for all the quests I think. And it's not perfect yet but it works because I tested it. Um, so some of the stuff is in common events, if it's like really easy it's going to, but other things that have to be triggered by events like in here and when not with Nigel, uh, I've got a parallel trigger. To clear the icon, the quest, the question mark, no, the exclamation mark that comes above his head in the script. And um, so if you are playing it in that mode, it doesn't show up then. And obviously, if we, if the options ends up beating game modes in the poll, I'll have to alter things a bit. And I'll just have to set this on a, on a switch instead, because I don't think it's done. I don't I don't have the it set up with variables, it switches, I think. So um I have to give it a switch and make sure it's off. I have to just see. It shouldn't be too hard though. Hiya! Hiya, Storm Eagle! Oh my goodness, how are you guys doing? Not bad, could be better. Yeah, holy guy get guy gets better, Storm Eagle. Oh my goodness, that's real. Congrats. Yeah, very close. And you're doing good too, Akira. Good job. Okay, folks, so yeah, I've just like give you a little basic idea how I got it working, but I want to do a test plane both. I want you guys to see how it looks in UI mode and how to see how it looks um, without the UI because it's completely different game experiences. Um, some people love playing it with UI, like me, I love my quest markers, I, I love that stuff. Some people hate it, so best of both worlds, right? Um, I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Don't miss me too much. She's on break. Now's my chance. I love you with all my heart, Rose. You're the best thing in my life. Less than three. Oh my goodness what 
you sneaky careless Rex coming in she's on a break now's my chance oh my goodness thank you that's so sweet I love you too thank you so much that's 27 whole months I think that deserves a lot of hype chat I want to see that hype because 27 months is my most ever longest sub of all and that's Rex so I want to see all that hype please and he has a special badge too the founder badge I hope you're very proud of yourself having that badge <laughs> have you been waiting for me this whole time to go on a break have you or is it just coincidence hello Been having loads of problems on my work computer so I've been lurking and had to contact it so it's sorted now oh my god you're the lurk king i appreciate that i mean you you have 10k raindrops in the stream and i think tetsu rose is a close second to you so oh, oh my goodness i appreciate you for all the lurking you do rex it was a coincidence yeah okay so I'm very thirsty so I had a drink and poll I'm going to remind you again poll there's a poll in our discord um, so get your votes on one is a very clear winner at the moment give some love to the, the one that's not winning if you like that one let's have a little read see which one you prefer out the two give it a vote because we can only pick one we can only go for one in Raindrop Chronicles. We can't go for both because it kind of defeats the point to go for both. If we have game modes, there's no point having the ability to switch the UI in options. It defeats the point of game mode. So we're going to have one or the other. Options is very flexible. It allows you to choose which parts of the UI you like and which ones you don't. And you can turn, turn them on and off at any point. Whereas game modes isn't flexible. It can't be changed. It's forever like that. You pick at the start of the game and you're stuck with it. And it, it has its appeal, I'm sure, because some people might like the challenge. Um, some people might think that's cheating to be able to, <laughs> to like turn on and off the UI. But, you know, the accessibility is also very appealing to people too. So consider that. Consider whether... Um, if you feel that accessibility and that the, the flexibility to change things whenever you want is valuable and if you believe it is valuable then maybe options should be the winner um, and feel free to give me some feedback on why one of them is better than the other if you've got a very strong opinion on, on why one is better because I'd love to hear because I'm seeing that options is getting all the votes but I'm not seeing why why people like it so I, i'm just very curious but i think maybe you agree with me maybe maybe you agree with what i'm saying that it's more flexible maybe that's why um i beat yeah to 10k lurking that's a whole new level of hiding in the bushes so <laughs> uh rex has been like one of the i think me and rex became friends in my first or second week of streaming so um He's, yeah, he's been a long time person. It's gonna be he's gonna be very hard to beat on the leaderboard, I have to say. You'd literally have to be in the stream 24-7 and somehow get Rex kicked out of the stream to beat him. <laughs> but yes, that is the poll. So if you want a quick link to the Discord, if, or if you haven't joined yet, there is the links in that poll command raindrops yeah king rain that's a good that's a good one rex so we need to ban rex for about two years to catch up yeah <laughs> but yep yeah, so we can peek at who's vied for what which is which is a very sneaky thing with discord we can so don't feel ashamed if you like the game modes but you're embarrassed and you think i don't want to be the only one voting for it don't honestly don't feel ashamed <laughs> i'm just gonna say because everybody's going for options um and I, I i would love to just hear feedback on why options is kicking butt at the moment and why game modes is failing miserably um just just let me know guys because i'm very very curious like i says i i don't mind both work for me 
I would have either, but options seem to be kicking butt. But like I said, we're not gonna, the poll's gonna be open until tomorrow's stream. It won't be until tomorrow's stream that we know which one wins because I wanna keep it open for peeps that haven't been able to be online. Because it feels a bit unfair to close it just after the stream's ended because three hours isn't a long time for everybody to get their say. Oh my goodness, you need zero more to grow into a nothing period. Holy crap. See, you're the top rank as well. I was thinking we could have some more ranks though, but is there actually anything that's more badass than a soon army? Because what's our order? I'm going to just have a look at our order of our ranks. Uh, where are we? Where are we? I cannot find where we are. Uh, currency. Yes, it, it does make it confusing to find our ranks. Um, but the order is raindrop, trickle, splash, drizzle, shower, downpour, torrent, flood, maelstrom, and... Oh no, I've missed some. <laughs> It hasn't done them in the right order, so I missed some. Raindrop, trickle, splash, drizzle, shower, downpour, torrent, wave, storm, flood, maelstrom, and tsunami. So that's the order of like little water to big water. And honestly, I can't think of anything that's more badass than a tsunami, to be quite honest. But if we, if you guys can think of something that's more badass than a tsunami, I will put it as another rank for people to aim to get that do have that who have got that world ending water based event <laughs> oh my goodness see t isn't soon army that though isn't that a world ending water based event <laughs> because choosing b means you get both a and b being able to change it at any time means you can opt to not change it which means you get a, hang on, let me read that again. Being able to change it any time means that you can opt to not change it. Which means you get, yeah, the flex, you mean the flexibility, basically. That's what you're trying to say, isn't it, Rex? That what options offer is basically what the game mode offers anyway. But not exactly. There is a big difference. Game mode makes you forever play that way, which also means there's an opportunity to get an achievement. If you play the blind immersive mode all the way through, you would get an achievement for doing that. Whereas we couldn't potentially have that reward or that achievement if you can change things. Because that would be cheating. Because you wouldn't be deserving of the blind immersive achievement if you've, you've changed it throughout. So that is the only, well, one clear benefit of the game modes over options. That it, it kind of allows that challenge and that achievement. Um... And I don't know whether it's possible to give an achievement if we just go for options only because I don't, could, would we know? Like, someone could have changed it. You can't guarantee they've played the full game. I suppose maybe there's a way to, to know. Maybe there is a way to know if they've used the options, but I'm not sure how we'd do that, if I'm honest. Um, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not sure I do, but maybe there is a way. And hi, Six. Welcome to the stream. It's good to meet you. I hope you're having a good day. Blood Leviathan. Oh, that's that's really that's really cool. We we can start going from the the raindrops to the bloody raindrops, Akira. Maybe that's we should have that as above ten k. But honestly, yeah, I'm, I would totally add more ranks. So really cool names like that, Akira Blood Leviathan. <laughs> But yeah, well, I'm, I'm I'm tempted to add it, but we'll see. I'm, I'm, I want to hear more suggestions. Um, continent or two, not world level. Oh yeah, so tsunami is just a continent that ruins. Yeah, totally. But what? But what would the natural name be of a water event that ruins the world, though? Because tsunami is the only like really serious water like i can think of maelstrom is like the one before it but i can't i really honestly can't think of anything else that's as devastating as a tsunami mm -hmm. I, I was playing tried without ui and didn't like it oh hang on let me let me read that sleeping i'm just gonna get back on our on our thing imaging so i'm gonna zoom in just so well, I think I've zoomed in as much as I can. I'm going to keep this screen up for a bit so peeps know what we're doing that have just come in the stream. I want people to see. 
people to know and keep these polyps people's known people we need more votes we still need way more so yeah we'll keep that up for a bit let's read what sleeping says if I was playing and tried without UI and didn't like it, I wouldn't want to start the game again to have the UI. That's why I would say options is better. I can see the appeal of no UI without being able to change the hardcore mode though. Yeah, that's very, very good point sleeping. It could frustrate some people to have to start again. Um, and then they might just rage quit because they think, oh damn, I started this game without UI and... You know, it, I need to play it with the UI, but, it's, you know, I can't be bothered to start again. People, you could, like, I could, like, definitely make people rage quit that way. So, I think if we, we went for game mods, if that happened to win the poll, we would have to, like, really put in the description, you know, pe pick wisely. Um, so, yeah, we got the warning there for that reason. But, um, it's, it, yeah, it limits you a bit. There's, it's not very flexible how it doesn't let you change. Um, but for sure, even if it could, so even if the game mode did let you change, it's still not as flexible as options because it kind of picks and chooses. You, it's either all or nothing. Do you get what I mean? Like, all with with all the markers on or nothing at all whereas the good thing with the options is you can pick and choose like some people might like the mini map but they might not particularly like the quest directions or even the enemy indicators but they might really like elements of the ui so at least with the options you you can like pick there's there's a lot of choice in comfort with how you can have the game Whereas it's definitely, that is definitely the all or nothing with the game mode. But yeah, it's definitely got, the one advantage I can think of is the hardcore mode. People, some people might really like that they can go for the blind amount mercy play through and feel rewarded for playing it that way all the way through. Whereas this is diff, people could see this as casual, the, the ability to change it. And they might think, no, can't change, gotta stay, gotta stay blind with no UI throw out um but who knows maybe there's a way to to give an achievement to someone that always has all of them off all through and for the game to recognize that they've had them all off all the way through if there was a way to recognize that then we could still give an achievement because I'm, I'm tempted to have a, an achievement system in raindrop chronicles for sure um but I, I have no clue if it would do that because like I say I'm no pro coder here maybe what I'm imagining isn't even possible to do um, I don't know but who knows and either Leviathan or a water Pokemon yeah imagine it after Tsunami it's Squirtle like, to get <laughs> your rank is now Squirtle to get you have to have over 10k raindrops to get the Squirtle rank that would be such a such a troll rank. Oh, I have a, a message in Discord. Oh, thank you, Weedo. I'm very curious about the watchdog violation error I got, guys. So, just so you know, I had a blue screen this morning. I'm celebrating the occasion with my blue dress and my slightly blue hue to my face today because I had to put that on to not get it invisible on the green screen <laughs> now it's literally just a coincidence that i'm wearing a blue dress on blue screen day but um yeah it, if you look closely it says watchdog violation and i want to know what that means so i can prevent it happening again that would be really great um it's very creepy though watchdog violation sounds like i'm some sort of criminal mastermind and windows are out to get me watch that rose she's a she's a watchdog violation let's get her posters up she's 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 one to watch she's a criminal not sure in envy but anything else i would simply let's get the poll back up first before i catch up with chat because i want to keep it i want peeps to know we've only got six votes so far well five votes actually because one of them's the bot <laughs> So I'm going to spam, gonna spam chat. I want to hear all your feedback today, guys, on this, on why, why one is better than the other. I kind of wanted to dedicate today's stream to this decision. 
Um, I was going to have a skilled stream today because I promised last week. I said we'll have a full week of skills, but it hasn't happened because I feel like this decision is very important and we kind of have to do it now at the start of the game really so I can get everything set up, the switches, um, early on so there's less work for me to do. Um, so yeah, we, I want to get this this set up as quick as possible. Kind of already have with the game modes, but I will have to alter things slightly if this one wins. But it won't be too much work. My tummy's doing a rumble. And let's catch up with chat. I apologise for my rambling. Not sure, but in Envy, anything else, I would simply use a boolean. Option used equals false. If I ever use the option that changes to true, even achievement just looks like that. Oh, maybe it is possible then. Because I'm still very much a noob coder. I'm kind of just doing this thing as I go along. And there's a lot I don't know. And I'll always be curious. And it seems it is possible then according to Azriel. We can give you guys an achievement if you do have. So I'm not going to promise anything yet. Because I we haven't tested it. So we don't know for sure. But it would be lovely. If for those players that are off all the way through through episode one to get an achievement at when they've completed episode one saying you've played raindrop chronicles in blind mode throughout the whole episode and you'll have that achievement to reward you for doing that whereas those people that have had some of the ui on they would they wouldn't get the achievement <laughs> so it would be like just something to reward those players that have done it blind and let's go to we chat again uh, might be tricky to have check check up says to the way we're through, but would be easy to do key points like all what Hezreal says. Suppose but you couldn't hurt. The good thing is because we're doing this episodic, um it won't be too hard to like do something like that with all the events because episode one it's only gonna be a few hours playtime probably. Whereas if we had a whole game and we decided to add a feature like that at the end, it would be quite overwhelming to go through or everything and make sure but i'm sure it's not that complicated really i hope not but it's something i would like to do just to just as a, a nice a nice little prize for those of you that play, have played it in blind mode because i know there are a few of you in chat to who hang ground that are going to play it in complete blind mode and you're going to have everything off so um yeah you guys should deserve an achievement for that uh thank you so much for the follows guys hot tro bubba and takara i'm very behind at thanking you um but welcome to the stream it's really good to meet you and i'm gonna i'm gonna catch up with chat because i'm behind it <laughs> true bald is coming how you doing true bald it's good to see you twitch chat's being a silly for me it won't let me scroll back at the moment so if I have happened to miss anything important, just just say again if if I have, because I can't seem to scroll back. Um, how are you doing, True Baldy? It's good to see you. Oh my goodness, you're getting those raindrops. You'll get there. You'll get there in no time. Hope you've had a good weekend, True Baldy. You're nearly in the top 100 as well. Congrats. My goodness, Elite. Are you like the proudest lurker of, of of the month of October, Elite? I swear, did we did we only meet this month, Elite? Because if you met, that is really, really, really lurking. Must have lurked twenty four seven. I appreciate that. <laughs> a lot of thoughts today. Thank you for asking. How are you? Had a good day. I I'm doing good, True Body. We have we've had some tech difficulties today. I had a bit of a blue screen problem. Um made me like the stream because that's to sort stuff out but other than that having a great day and having a great day discussing this poll we've uh, put up so chat i'm gonna spam the command to you again if you want to take part in this poll um have a say which one you think we should go for out the two then definitely we would because at the moment option b is kicking option a's butt <laughs> but it's a good job we had this stream and this poll because i'm not gonna lie guys we would have gone for game modes if it wasn't for this because that is kind of what we've already got right now i only had the idea yesterday like yesterday afternoon i had the sudden inspiration to potentially add the options instead of game mode i was like mm, actually that could work too and i thought i wonder what 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 uh 
Twitch, my ch Twitch community would think about this. So this is why I'm doing it. <laughs> Follow age, three weeks and five days. It just shows, it just shows, guys. If anybody has ever thought that getting the raindrops is too hard, the 500, Elite has proved that you can do it in a month. You know, basically, <laughs> you can do it in a month, but you'd, you'd literally have to lurk 24-7 to do it. And not everybody can, so don't feel pressured to lurk 24-7. Some people have to go off their computers and do stuff, so never think that there's that pressure. But um, it, ju it just shows that you can do it <laughs> in a month. Yay. Oh, eight months, Kong, we've we been here. Awesome. Is there a demo release for this game? Hi Peter, Apple Jack, welcome to the stream of Mass Emerald. Thank you for that raid. How are you doing, Mass Emerald? I hope you're having an awesome day. How was your stream? Tell us all about it. And in answer to Peter's question, is there a demo? There isn't. And I'm not actually sure we're going to have a demo because this game is episodic, Peter. Let's just give you a bit of info about our project so you know. Have a read of that or anybody else that's just come into the stream for the first time today. Um, it will be a free to play episodic game. So because of that, episode one is kind, would kind of work as a demo anyway because it it's not we're not having a full game. So um, it kind of seemed like we might as well wait till episode one's release um rather than and work on that rather than potentially slow down the release of episode one with a demo so yeah episode one in, in so if you're curious about the release of that it will probably be the aim is spring of next year but it, it but may either be later or earlier depending on how the development goes it's really hard to say at this point but the target is the spring and oh my goodness true baldy to kung to, Holy crap, 23 subs in the channel. I don't even know what to say. Thank you so much, True Baldy. You are the Mr. Generous of Twitch. Can we have some hype in chat for True Baldy for that sub to Kung? Kung really deserves it. She is an absolute lovely human to have in this channel. I appreciate you, Kung. That wasn't my intent. You are too kind. Aw. Well, you deserve it, Kung, because you're lovely and we love you. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. Aw. Well, let's do that hype. Yay. Mon Monkey's happy too. <laughs> okay. Uh, you trickle made up of four raindrops. Oh, yeah, you got four raindrops already, Peter. Good job. And yay. I'm going to give Master Emerald a shout out as well. Nearly forgot there. Got all, got all caught up in the hype. There we go. Let's see what Master Emerald have been to do. Oh, you've been doing some science and technology today. How did that go? Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I'm doing, doing good. Considering I had a blue screen today, I'm having a great day. Usually if you have a blue screen, it ruins your day completely, doesn't it? <laughs> but mine's been pretty good. Yay. Yeah, the computer is all good, just so everybody knows. It seems to be working, but I'm, I'm at the same time I'm concerned about that watchdog violation. <laughs> I really don't have a clue what it means, so it would be nice to fix that. Um, and yeah, chat, we got a poll up today, so if you love voting in the polls and contributing um, with the decisions design-wise in the game, this is a design decision, basically, with with modes or options and then feel free to, to have a vote we option b is kicking option a's ass at the moment so uh, yeah i do not know how to get raindrops i feel like a twitch noob well you get them from lurking in the stream peter um so for for how how long is it one raindrop every 10 minutes um it seems like a lot it does seem like a lot to get 500 but they soon build up and it's it's kind of like by the time you do get those 500 raindrops you kind of a very you're an integrated member of the community you've your people are familiar with you and you're a part you're a, of the community you're a regular so you totally deserve to be that character there and it's a it's a nice incentive and reward for those people that have lurked so um it doesn't take too long it all depends on on how much you're a lurker but no pressure it's nice to meet you though peter um 
It just means Rex is lurking too much for us. <laughs> the longer you watch, the more you save. Exactly. Elite sums it up. Thank you so, so much for being so helpful to the people, the newcomers in the stream, Elite. I appreciate it. Um, I, there will be a website. The website is already there on the internet. We've already got the domain. Um, we just have a coming soon page up at the moment. But once it's up, um, things will be a lot more detailed than what our FAQ page currently is. Rose, you have to watch your language. I said ass, oh my goodness. Is that the most shocking word I've ever said on stream in the whole of history? Is it? Or have I, be got, have I ever been worse than that? <laughs> Website, thank you Azriel, thank you very much. Appreciate you with the commands. And I want to say thanks, Azriel and Ali, as well, for sharing my humble bundle link around as well. Pre I really appreciate um, how helpful you guys have been. Uh, yay. Okay, I think I'll call up a chat again. I'm going to go get some almond milk downstairs. Um, yeah, it is easy. It's super easy. You just have to be a lurker. <laughs> it's really not hard at all, for sure. Um, okay. I much prefer buttocks instead of the I word to be honest. I do too. It's much more it's a much it's a much more funny word. It's a lot more humorous buttocks is than ass. <laughs> the hardest part about being vegan is waking up at 4 a.m. to milk those almonds. Oh well, I don't milk them myself. I just go <laughs> buy them from the shop. <laughs> I think you might have whispered the S word under my breath once, did I? Oh my goodness. I'm getting, I'm not PG-13 anymore. My goodness. Speaking of the link, thank you. Yay, so so everyone knows there is an, a Humber Bundle really good sale for RPG Maker stuff at the moment. So if you're curious, click, um, type in, how do, how do you get to the RPG Maker actual link? You just type it in the search but that's really it's a really cool really cool sale on at the moment it's definitely worth it if you haven't currently got the software only two days left hi andy cake how's it going i hope you're having an awesome day rose needs to have some almond milk and i don't know why i'm speaking in third person but sometimes i do um so <laughs> i'm gonna go get some so i'm not hungry because my, my tummy's rumbling very badly i always get hungry at this time of day so just so you know while i'm away we've got this poll and i'm going to spam chat again so people can vote because we only have seven votes so far um and even though one of them is really obviously clearly winning this poll as you can see <laughs> it still would be lovely to ha have have more just to say so this poll will be open for another day until tomorrow's stream um, and I put a little description with what each of them are about so you know and I'll be back very shortly I'm saying nothing oh my goodness what clip is that leg mark what did I say did I say something shocking <laughs> yeah how are you doing Andy cake hope you're having an awesome day so I, I keep saying I'm gonna go and get some almond milk but I'm not I think I'm just addicted to talking to you all <laughs> i think that's what it is uh right guys so i'm gonna be back shortly give me a few minutes um when i'm back i'm going to do a couple of test plays of raindrop chronicles we'll have a mess around with what it looks with the ui and what it looks like without the ui and we'll probably just do a few little bits because there's a couple of we've got a list of small little tasks to do um and uh yay excited i'll be back in a bit
Why, my goodness, what is happening here? What have I missed? Let's have a little look. Oh my goodness, Willow Scale, a host. Thank you so much. How are you doing? How was your stream? I hope it went super well. And welcome, everybody, from Charlie's stream. Let's have a shout out for Charlie. What were you playing? Elder Scrolls Online. How is that going? How is that going? Congrats on making the Elder Scrolls tea, by the way. That is absolutely badass. Um, and a super awesome achievement. I saw your Twitch announcement. I mean, Twitter announcement. Um, yay. Welcome, Fizzle. Welcome to the stream. Let's say hi to everybody that spoke in chat. So, Fizzle, welcome. It's good to meet you. Um, Juice, thank you for the host as well. I'll show my face now. I went to get some milk because I get very hungry at this time of day. Very excited about it. Yeah, so you should be. <laughs> My voice has gone weird because of the milk. Um, how are you? I'm doing good. Apart from a few tech difficulties today, I'm having a, having a lovely day. Had a blue screen earlier. Got really sad about it. <laughs> but it's all working now. And we've got a poll up today, guys. I'm going to um, put the command in chat so you can all have a little vote on it if you'd like. You do have to join the Discord to vote so that we can prevent cheats because if you're in discord you can only vote once that's a good thing about discord and liquid how are you doing oh my goodness thank you for the twitch prime sub can we have some hype for liquid guys how are you doing way too lazy to host manually i appreciate you juice thank you blue screens are the worst yeah windows has been very silly to me lately and it totally like ruined everything when I opened OBS. My cam had gone funny, my mic had gone funny. So it took about half hour to get everything set up properly. Thank you for the follow fizzle, I appreciate it. Liquid is a sneaky one. Appreciate that Twitch Prime sub liquid. Hype, yay. So guys, um, if anybody's new here, there's probably some new peeps hanging about. I'm going to just give you guys the command of what we do on this stream. Um, in this stream, we make an RPG game together. Well, I make the game, but the community gets involved in a lot of things, decisions, store, how the story's going to go. And you can also be a character in the game too, once you get enough raindrops in the stream. And these are who, who all these little folks here are, are walking across. They're, they're our, uh, characters in the game. Is that an eye liquid? <laughs> yeah, it's a very scary emote, I have to say. Oh, it's from WoW. Yeah, I missed out on WoW. They're all ashamed of me. I missed out on it. I did play it a little bit, but not for, not as long as some people. <laughs> Uses resurrection on Elite. Oh, no. Elite can't die. Okay, guys, so yeah, I'm, I'm telling everybody to vote on this poll. So I've basically just had this up all stream because um, sometimes some streams will be very decision-based streams where I'll put up polls that people can vote on so we can decide the direction of the game. And uh, sometimes we'll I'll be just doing stuff in RPG Maker, which is the program we use for the game, which is right here. So if you're curious, have a little look at that link. It'll tell you more about the engine. Um, and let's open it up now. I think you guys have stared at this Discord pile for long enough. Uh, okay. So. My music is very loud on my end. Don't think it is for, for you guys. Hopefully you can hear me louder than the music. I never know because since Windows messed up all my settings in OBS, sometimes I'm, it messes things up a bit. But it seems to be okay. Seems like there's not many problems on the stream. No one's complaining anyway. <laughs> so all's good. Will there be dwarves? Oh my goodness. You're going to be ashamed of me, Fizzle. There aren't dwarves in the game. <laughs> but there are elves. We do have elves in the game. So that's one good thing. If you want to see the races, I will actually show you right now. Because we have a... We have an FA information and FAQ page. Which you'll see if you click that link. From the project command. But 
We also have a character form sheet as well for those of you that want to be a character in the game. So this is an example of one of our character form sheets that you fill in. And here are the races, we've got seven. So human, elves, <laughs> neko, cat people, fairies, uh, doggos. So we got all the beast races, two, three of them. I think the elves make up for the lack of dwarves <laughs> and follows and leaves. We must revolt for the dwarves. I would love there to be dwarves, it would be awesome, but sadly, I don't think there are any dwarf assets in RPG Maker and I am being a, a bit of a lazy one and taking a lot of pre-existing assets because um, kind of so the game gets made in a few years instead of a decade <laughs> because RPGs are very uh, time consuming things to create so um, sometimes I've had to create my own but I'd say it's 90% pre-made assets and 10% my assets so far anyway I was doing some icons last week myself and sometimes well, I will have to do stuff myself if there's nothing in existence online that I can use it's free to use but it's pretty it's pretty cool because it allows us to spend time writing the story and doing all the other elements of the game rather than spending 10 years doing the artwork else do not make up for missing dwarves how very dare you <laughs> we do have children well children aren't dwarves <laughs> but we do uh we let's have a look at our character generator So you can be a kid, that's a small person, they're a lot smaller than the, uh, if you look at them very closely, <laughs> if you look at that, they're a lot shorter than that one. So there you go, there is the dwarf. <laughs> if someone already has done the work, no point wasting time redoing it, all the big stairs do, it. why can't you exactly sleep in? Um, and uh, this game's free to play and stuff, it's a completely... It feels a lot safer to have it as a free-to-play game considering a lot of the assets are all are borrowed and things. Although, I have to say the RPG Maker community that I've made, the assets are very generous and let you potentially use them for commercial games. But not all of them. So it's just a lot safer to, to have it as a free project for sure. I have two tortoises called Samwise and... Gimli and have Gimli's tax tattooed from Lord of the Rings. Oh my god, Fizzle, you're going to be ashamed of me. I've only ever watched the first Lord of the Rings. And I'm ashamed because I do. <laughs> but I, I tried to watch the others, but I ended up falling asleep. And that's not because I hate it, because I actually think I'd love Lord of the Rings. It's just because whenever I've tried to watch it, we do a marathon, me and my friends. And we always get through the first one, those first three hours, but then we don't have enough time when I always end up falling to sleep for the just before the second one. But I've heard that the second and third are even better than the first. So it's a it's a goal of mine to watch it one day. I'm just being very honest and open with you all. So you will know me. <laughs> I'm totally kidding around, yay. But yeah, I have wanted to watch Lord of the Rings for a long time because I honestly think I would like it. I'm a big fan of fantasy stuff. Um, I'm a Game of Thrones fan and Witcher 3 and all the fantasy things. Final Fantasy, another franchise I love. <laughs> Who <the heck> do <laughs> Oh no! Fizzle, I haven't made a good impression. Fellowship of the Ring is so good, they all are. Yeah! Honestly, I do need to watch it. I, it's one thing I'm very embarrassed about admitting that I've never seen it, but at least I've been honest now. <laughs> but what else haven't I watched that I need to? Um, there's got to be stuff out there that I haven't watched. But Lord of the Rings is the biggest one. Um, I haven't played the Kingdom Hearts series, that's another that people are ashamed of me for. Because I'm a big Final Fantasy fan, but I'm not playing Kingdom Hearts. Not <laughs> until you play Dragon Age. I like Dragon Age too, because I, I like The Witcher and Mass Effect. So I'm pretty sure Dragon Age is one I'd love to. Because they're Witcher and Mass Effect are pretty much Dragon Age, aren't they? My cross to fact, I never got into Dragon Age. Oh, where we go then? So... We 
Which is, what is the franchise I never got into, actually? I don't know. Because I tend to just give up when I don't get into something. Like World of Warcraft, for example. I gave that a go about for about a month when I was at college, and then I stopped. So, maybe I just get, didn't get into it. How dare you, Fizz? Could you get into Kingdom Hearts having Donald Duck and Goofy as party members just didn't feel right? See, maybe I'd be the same, but I don't know until I try it. Um, I was going to buy the Kingdom Hearts bundle once because I think you can get, can you get them all in one? But part of me scared too because once I've got it, I, I feel like I have to play them all. And what if I don't like it? Where is really hard for newcomers to get into, so don't blame you. I my MMO is Final Fantasy fourteen, although I'm unsubbed at the moment. That is that is the one that I've enjoyed the most. I never tried Elder Scrolls online, no. I might like that, because I am a big I am a fan of Skyrim. Um I played a little bit of Oblivion, but not much. I mainly watched friends play it. And Morrowind I own, but haven't got around to. But Morrowind is everybody's favourite, isn't it? Most people's, anyway. I've heard all the good things. Did you ever hear of Vampire's Dawn? No, I haven't. What's that, Takara? I've heard of Until Dawn. That was a horror game I played on stream once and I was screaming all the time. Played well way back, but it's so much content these days, it's hard to catch up on. Yeah, definitely. And to be honest, I'm very... I find MMOs very daunting, because I'm not a multiplayer person. I, li I like soloing things. And when I played Final Fantasy XIV, I, I basically soloed it all, and I did play it, really. So, yeah, I'm, I, I am definitely a single-player RPG girl, if you're curious, guys. And RPGs of all genres, really, not necessarily tied down to fantasy but anything as long as it's about characters and uh story driven and it's fun to play ff11 rose actually never mind i'm 15 years in and still behind on the content yeah yeah i never i never played 11 so i missed out there um but 14's great i, I do really like it thank you Sh shovel for the follow appreciate that how are you doing today? It's good to meet you. So it's fantastic, but can be a bit scary to get into. Yeah, MMOs can be, I suppose, once they start getting a lot of expansions, for sure. But anyway, what are we going to do? We're going to do a test play. So what I'm going to actually do is mute the music in the background. Because we're going to have some sound on while we do this because sometimes we do muted test plays but sometimes we have the sound on um and we got we're going to do a big test because i've made a lot of changes over the weekend to the game added a lot of stuff too so i want to see how that all plays and how it's all working and here is the poll command again so if you want to vote on the poll so we'll turn the sound on well, master volume's not working. Well, that's the bug for a start. You know what it is? I think we're going to have to disable this options menu for now because um, it's not set up properly yet. I only added the options menu last night and the things um, I haven't like set it up properly so I'm actually going to disable the options menu and we'll use the default one for now that is the only reason I can think why the volume's not working most famous German RPG maker game series there's also an English version of Vampire Storm 1 and 2 Vampire Storm 1 was made with RPG maker 2000 that's really cool yeah I mean, I'm very, um, some of the RPG Maker releases, I'm quite, uh, I haven't played a lot of them actually. There's one RPG Maker game I absolutely love and it's not To The Moon. I do love To The Moon by the way, but there is another one, a really old one in RPG Maker 2000 and that's, that is kind of the game that started my love for, um, like the sort of old school RPG Maker style games. It's called The Way, if anyone's curious. And I don't think he has the um, episodes on his website anymore. 
let me click it make sure that's the link actually I want to make sure I've given you the right link I think you took them down which is unfortunate but I think they are still available online somewhere but that is honestly it's such a good series of games it's also episodic as well so yeah that was RPG Maker 2000 so very very old one uh, right test play time okay so we're gonna start a new game should we play it with UI or without UI? Chat. Feel free to say which mode should we play first. But looks like we're going to be getting rid of game modes. Judging by the poll, game modes is going to be removed and we'll replace it with options. Um, which works very well too. Without. Yeah, Elite is going to be playing this game blind because he's a badass he doesn't need any quest markers in his rpgs me on the other hand i'm a i'm a ui quest marker person i love them i'm very curious like who like i would love to put a poll up at some point and ask which mode you you would play because I'm curious which one would have the most votes. Because it seems pretty 50-50 from what I've heard so far. Some of you love would love Planet Blind and others I've heard would like the UI. I need quest markers. See, Kung is one. Um, I know that me, Kung and Rex love our quest markers. And Elite, Azriel and Cheese prefer no quest markers. So it's, very, it's kind of 50-50 at the moment love how positive you are about different opinions rose yeah well i can see the appeal of both in all honesty if i was a more hardcore gamer i would play it blind too but i'm too much of a i love how i have to get everything i have to get all the quests I, i'd like literally cry if i knew i missed a quest somewhere <laughs> i'd be like no but i think the people who like to play without the quest markers um, aren't particularly fussed they just prefer not having them and feeling more rewarded from finding a quest themselves i can see the point in them but i prefer to just explore and talk to all the npcs to figure it out yeah yeah i would i, I definitely see the appeal okay i'm heading off you have a fantastic trip thank you fizzle thank you for for joining us with charlie's raid and it's good to meet you and i'm so sorry the dwarves and lord of the rings got us started off badly <laughs> i hope that we can have a better interaction in the future it's lovely to meet you ty for the follow yeah thank you for that follow have a wonderful day okay so who should we make who should we make? Should we make Jesus again or should we make someone different today? Maybe we should make Elite. <laughs> but honestly, I wouldn't even know what to, what Elite looks like. Well, I do because he put himself in the thing, actually. But whenever I think of Elite, I think of that, that evil sort of <laughs> avatar he's got on his stream. That is literally what I think Elite looks like now. And I don't think we can make someone that looks like that, unfortunately. Not in our custom character creator, anyway. But it would be pretty cool if we could. Uh, yeah. Let's just make a random one for once. Oh, yeah. A bearded blonde Jesus. That's, that's a different one. I approve. Add some beards to the children to keep Fizz happy. Yeah, you know, we could have dwarves. I'm not going to rule it out now. Fizz is probably gone now, but I'm going to just say it anyway. We could potentially have dwarves in the game. And I know they're not an official race in the character form thingy, but we, we don't necessarily have to say no and rule them out. We can literally just add beards to the children. And there you go, dwarves. <laughs> but their face sets would look weird because they'd have baby baby faces with beards on <laughs> we'd have to add some sort of rugged skin to the but to be honest dwarves could just have normal human faces couldn't they it's only the height that's different like this guy here he could be a dwarf for all for all we know just looking at the face it doesn't give away if he's a dwarf or not does it 
So we could just use normal human <laughs> face sets, but use the children's sprites with beards on them. For sure. Pretty much like Jesus, but yeah, the evil wizard is my shadow persona. Yay. <laughs> it's a good one. It's a good, it's a good persona. Now he looks like a Viking. He does, doesn't he? Blonde Jesus is a Viking. Maybe some doors came up through a hole in the ground, not a major race, just a minor one with a city or two. <laughs> yeah, it, it could, it's a, it's a possibility. You know, I'm tempted now. Maybe like they're not talked about much, the dwarves, and that's why they're not classed as an official race. Maybe they're like um, an, a sort of extinct race that are actually not extinct anymore. And then people realise they still exist. They've been living off on another continent somewhere. And um, nobody knew that they were there. Who knows? We could make up any kind of story. Nobody knows how this story's going to go yet. Oh, no. I was going to call him Blonde Jesus, but there's no room. Well, we can do, we can do that. Blonde Jesus. Oh, we could have thought of a really badass Viking name for him. What do you think? What would be a badass Viking name for him? Maybe they've been hiding underground. Yeah. I definitely feel like them being like, everybody thought that they didn't exist anymore is, a, is kind of a good potential thing. But they've been hiding this whole time. So they could be underground for sure. Leaf, yeah, that would have been perfect for him. Oh no, I forgot to put the sound on. Damn. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna actually do? I'm gonna I'm gonna do it again and we're gonna call him Leaf this time. Cause I forgot to put the sound on anyway, because I'm silly. It says the sound's on 100%, but it doesn't seem to be working. That's weird. Oh, that's because it's not on. There we go. There we go. Everything's on. So, yeah, the, the, the options menu that we were looking at earlier was a lot more advanced than this. So, it'll be pretty cool to have that. I've got the burps. Time for me to go and eat some lunch. Enjoy your light lunch juice and thanks for hanging out. Oh my goodness, I feel like I have to like just really let some burps out. Almond milk is, it must do that to you. Look, I match with the game. I'm blue just like the game. Uh, I was going to delete the saves actually. But we might as well just leave them. Right, so we're going to play blind mode first. <laughs> yep. I know, I actually know that song, Juice. Most of the time I don't get references, but I know that one. Ooh, coffee and OBS. Hopefully you don't have any OBS silly problems like I did. And hopefully Elite can see us walk through the Everbloom. Oh no, I didn't make him blonde. Oh, that's fine. You know what we can do? The good thing is with our custom hero creator is that if we make a mistake, we can start again. I actually forgot that we could do that, but we can. But you have to unfortunately go through the rest of the options first. So no, we'll start again. So yay! It's a very handy thing to have. Hi Quantum, how are you doing? It's good to meet you. Won't be on a good day. I think this character creator looks better as well with the zoomed in sprite because it was just like a little tiny thing on the screen before. 
I generally just uh, uh, prefer the look of the game since we've zoomed it in. I'm, so, I'm happy we did that. It's crazy how much a beard can change a character's look. Because look what he looks like there. And look like what he looks like with the beard. It's such a difference. Okay, so we're going to call in what Elite suggested. It suits him, I sure. So this is the mode without any UI. So what you're about to see, chat, is a playthrough of Raindrop Chronicles so far without any UI. Because that is an option in our game. We're going to have a lot of... We're going to let the player have choice. I think it's a very good thing that we've decided to do. Oh, now where's the music? Where's the music? I thought I put all the sound on. Oh, it is on. It was. It's super quiet on my end. <laughs> I can't hear anything. It's probably louder for you guys on stream. Yeah, <laughs> sounds like nothing on my end. It's probably because I've got my volume on 1% and that's because these earphones are very loud. <laughs> I troll my way for life by having an outrageous moustache in our waiting photos. Oh my goodness. Careless Rex has got quite a bit of a moustache as well at the moment. He likes it. He's very proud. I really like the special effects from creating the character. Thank you, Kung. I'm going to try and, like, make the game. I want to make the game good. Like, when we have cutscenes, um, I definitely want to have the, the the characters have facial expression changes too. I'm not just on the character face thing in this dialogue box, but on the sprite too. A bit like when we push the girl in the lake. She, like, has that nanny face and that generally looks very unimpressed i would love to it adds a lot of life i think and because we've got the zoomed in perspective now i think it's going to add a lot to do that sort of thing we'll put on the discord yeah definitely share it in the sh selfie channel elite I added a little sound effect at this bit too. When Cat, when the hero gets punched out the barrel by Carol, she puts her lid back on, and I added a, a a little sound effect for when she puts her lid on. And I think sound can add so much to a game, so I'm going to try and add as much as possible when necessary. And that's why I've added footsteps to the game too. Um, so you'll hear that now, but there's something we're going to have to change because. The sound of the footsteps aren't appropriate for what the hero is stepping on. And um, the good thing about the footsteps plugin I've got that it allows us to change the sound of the footsteps based on where he's standing. Um, and I think that's really cool. So when he's walking on grass, we're gonna we'll be able to change it to a more cushy sort of sound. And when he's walking on path, we'll have a more so I will, well, I'll have an experiment with that. I'm not sure if I'll do it on stream because I want to dedicate the rest of this week to skills. Um, but I'll definitely work on adding that off stream so that we have a more realistic footsteps sound. I think it can add a lot. Just little sort of things like that can do so much. Totally, games are just not visual. And to learn my thank you for the lurk elite, and I hope that the stream goes wonderfully. And yeah, everybody, I think the art and assets, like visual assets, get so much focus and people put a lot of attention and hard work into the visual assets, which is definitely a good idea because everyone wants the game to look good visually. But I think sound is such an underrated, unappreciated thing too. And it just adds so much in a very, in a way that people wouldn't expect it to. So I definitely want to try and slowly add those little extra sound effect details over time. Even if I don't put them in straight away um, in a cutscene or I I will 
over time think actually that that bit might look sound good with that there like I did with the carol the barrel and I added the the sort of wooden lid sound um going when when she closes herself up just really subtle things like that but yeah the footsteps it's it's very off at the moment and I just want to warn you because you can probably hear guys we've got footsteps but they aren't the right sound for grass right now but that will be changed it's something I definitely want to put some time into and it's not that hard to set up either which is really cool but we don't it's this is the non UI mode this is raindrop chronicles without the mini map without the quest objectives and even Nigel, he's our main quest guy, our first main quest giver. He doesn't have the quest icon above his head in this mode. Um, and if we go with the options instead of game mode, it'll work the same. You'll just be able to go in the options menu and like the screenshot shows. You'll be able to turn the trigger on and off and choose the bits you like of the UI and choose the bits you don't like. There's a lot of flex flexibility there. And judging by the poll at the moment, it's it looks like that's going to be the one that wins so um it'll be fun to start letting you guys have, have those options um but yeah we we'll talked to nigel the choice um box by the way i'm going to change a bit because i really don't like the hard edges um i, I, I need to try and figure out where that is I believe it's on one of the window PNGs, but I'm I'm using a few, so I need to figure out which one it is that it calls the choices from. Then once I've figured that out, I can edit the the uh, PNG in Photoshop. But yeah, he's he currently has accepted the quest from Nigel, and in this blind immersive mode, like full blind immersive mode, if you're going to have everything off, um, he doesn't even it doesn't even say quest accepted you don't even know you have to look in the journal to see and it is in there it's in the journal i'm also hoping to potentially have the option to hide objectives too so for people some people might not even want objectives to show so but the problem is i can't figure out how to hide the title i can figure out how to hide the actual content inside the objectives which you can see i've done that but I can't, I, I need to figure out how to hide that title because we don't want objectives stuck there <laughs> if people wish to hide them. So if anybody knows, feel free to let me know because I'm going to be having a mess around with that at some point. But yeah, everything's completely bare. You don't see anything at all. It's like you are playing this in real life in a way. You've got no, no UI and um very very minimal as well nothing popping up on the screen saying you've had a quest accepted the only thing that does pop up is the titles to tell you where you are oh why is our uh where's our little plant stuck that's interesting because he should have a path that i've set him but it seems he's stuck in the save point, between the tree and the save point. I'll have to look into that and see what's broken him. The other enemies don't, don't seem to be broken. Just just that one, weirdly. <laughs> oh, yeah. And right now, we don't have an asset for this guy. He should be standing here on the right side but um, he's not there and I think the reason for that is because I'm actually not sure <laughs> we'll have to find out he should be there but super small but I do want to resize those battle assets for the sprites a little bit add six burns for sure yeah so walking through the Everbloom Forest is super peaceful and Eat without the UI, it does look nice. Um, but it's it's oh no, that mushroom's getting in the way. And the, we haven't really set up the battle screen properly yet, so there's a little bit of messing about we have to do with that. It's almost done. It just as you can see, we didn't have the character sprite, so that needs to be sorted out to figure out what's not making him show up. When you solve a bug in game dev 
you can solve a bug but then you get a new one straight after that's usually what ends up happening so you never really clear the list in all honesty uh, um, there's always another thing to do um, and I'm rushing through here on dash mode at the moment because of testing purposes but when you guys play the game I probably change things about a bit so you can't rush through like that and I think there's nothing wrong with having a dash thing but I feel like if we was gonna have a dash sort of mechanic that it should be treated like a sprint and you can only do it in, in like like now and again a bit like in games like Skyrim where you can sprint for a bit but then you run out of stamina and you have to walk normally that would be a more realistic approach to the the fast movement for sure and I mean I, thank you so much for the follow it's lovely to meet you hope you had a great day so everything carries on as normal we have um conversation with With Fiona Buckingham and for some reason her box is a little bit off centre which is interesting because everything was fine when I test played this last time and I have a feeling it's probably something there might be something I've been messing around with last night that's changed things a bit Interesting why that's gone off a bit off centre. But yeah, the current footstep sound is is just there for now. That will be changed because um, it's not that it's bad, but I definitely want the terrain that the player is stepping on to be more appropriate to the sound. Is the dialogue box is centered properly on this bit? I think it is here. For some reason, it's just on the other screen where it's off center. So this is the option when you don't push her in the lake. And she's a lot, she's a lot more pleasant when you don't push her in the lake, of course. And everything's working, everything's playable, as I said. And in the UI mode, I have it set up so the indicators come up at the right times and the quest objectives are triggered as well. So everything's working as it should. Um, and Rose is in the party now. But you don't get told um, in this mode. So the quests are in the journal. The objectives, I've changed the icons a little bit by the way to what they were last time. And we still have to decide rewards as well. Skill tree. So we'll, have to, we'll be looking into that this week. So we've got the, the skill tree plugin set up. We know it's working, but everything is like not. Obviously, we haven't filled anything in at all. So yeah, this is like the furthest we've got. Basically, we have that um, cutscene with Fiona. She gives us the quest called the Sacrifice that sends us to the heart of the Everbloom Forest. And uh, obviously, I have to set it up so the objectives don't show as well and have an option thingy for that. Um, there's a lot of bit, bits and bobs to do. And I'll probably do them throughout the week off stream do a little bit of time to the things that need fixing but predominantly I want to talk about skills this week for sure on stream and a custom loading screen would be a nice thing to have wouldn't it look at this cute little deer and um, yeah basically from this point we have to walk to the heart of the Everbloom Forest we need to kill the enemies along the way and well, this is why the next part is all about skills so we can get some good battle mechanics set up and in place why is that deer's antler under the tree? is that tree? can we walk under that tree? what is going on here? I 
have we have we missed this tree when we was doing the parallax mapping or can the deer actually that's quite unusual because it seems like we can't walk under it but yet the deer can maybe he's um he is under the tree sprite so that's uh have to have a little look at that parallax map and see what the problem is you encounter little things like this all the time that you didn't realize were a problem so um this is what i mean about the list never never ending but it's always a very an awesome feeling every time you do do something and fix it um i always like celebrate every time i take something off the list okay guys we are coming towards end of stream time so i'm going to remind you again about the poll so that was get raindrop chronicles in non-ui mode that we just had up even though it was a little bit buggy in parts uh right discord where are you here we go Okay, guys, I'm going to leave you with the poll before we head off, so peeps know. And uh, I'm going to leave it leave it here all, all day until tomorrow's stream. And then we'll have a look at the results tomorrow, um, see how they are. And the poll will close right at the start of tomorrow's stream. I think that'll be a good time to close it. And whatever wins will be what we go with. I'll take a screenshot of the results so we can have the proof. And if you want to join the Discord, well, it's all that. <laughs> I don't need to put the Discord command because we've we've got the Discord link right there with the poll command. Okay. So we're going to drop ourselves off at another stream before I head off for my dinner. I want to thank you all for hanging out with me today and being awesome. So it, it's a quiet one today actually. So I am going to drop us off at Elite stream today. Um, so we're going to say hi to it i'm gonna get his stream up ready oh no scene double getting rose up in the background on stream and on cap <laughs> so raid command if you want to join in with the raid that'd be fantastic um hit the stream up and There we go, that should be all spelt right. Okay, guys, I will see you all tomorrow. It'll be a skill stream. It'll be a skill stream. I can't speak. It'll be a skill stream for sure. Because I've been promising it for, for what feels like weeks now. But there's always been something else to, to do instead. But um, I'll be excited for fleshing out some of the skill mechanics of the game. Because we haven't had much chance to do that so far. So it'll be nice to talk about it and discuss it. See you all tomorrow. Have an awesome day. Take care.